President Biden explaining why shutting down the pipeline while we head into a winter when rising fuel prices is a bad idea joins us now. Congressman, we appreciate it. Uh, take us through the pipeline shuts down. What happens? Well, you're talking about a pipeline that carries about 540,000 barrels of product a day. And this is something, again, as you mentioned, it's uh, we were, have a treaty with Canada from 1953. It goes through uh, through Michigan, through the Upper Peninsula, down to the Lower Peninsula, and into Ohio. It could affect our refineries. It would affect, uh, affect our refineries here in Ohio and in Michigan. Tens of thousands of jobs. And we all know that uh, using a pipeline is a much safer way to transport the product than by truck. And, you know, what would happen is what we saw back in 2014, we had the polar vortex on the propane shortage, that uh, we had uh, propane in the country, we just had no way to get it where we needed to have it, because again, we need pipelines. Okay. And so, uh, th you know, this is serious. And we already know what the president did with the Keystone XL at the beginning of the year, that's 840,000 barrels. And at the same time, they uh, okay the uh, Nord Stream 2 for, with Russian gas coming into Europe. Yeah. So. You know, they have everything backwards. Yeah, the, the, the canceling Keystone and allowing Nord Stream was uh, quite the lo logist, uh, logical jujitsu, I guess you could say. Um, this would be an interesting question, though. Winter heating bills loom as next inflation threat. That's from the New York Times in terms of what might happen to heating costs. Uh, after plunging during the pandemic as the economy slowed, energy prices have roared upward. Washington is already moving to offer homeowners relief. Uh, the governor of Michigan says essentially, like, look, this is this is an environmental hazard. The prices be damned. Well, and that's, you know, again, she's totally wrong. Yeah, you know, this pipeline has been in operation for decades. And at the same time, they're, you know, they want to put a new tunnel in to put an, uh, an even deeper under the lake. And so they make it even safer. But, uh, you know, if you're out there saying that we're going to shut down this pipeline and have the exact same thing happen that we had, you know, across the country, we can't get product. You know, just in your earlier segment about uh, farmers, you know, I represent the largest farming producing district in the state, and I have 86,000 manufacturing jobs. Uh, farmers have got to heat, you know, uh, dry their grain, and they use that uh, fuel to do that. And they also, and when it gets to be a cold winter, and all winter long, they've got to make sure that they keep their livestock alive, That's which is their livelihood. So everything that, the, you know, this administration has been doing is wrong. You know, they don't admit that from 2005. Hey, Con Congressman, i got to run. i got about 20 seconds. you get anything back from your letter that you wrote? Not yet, and you know we we want to hear from the White House. And but you know, listening to uh, the Secretary of Energy Granholm, you know she pretty much scoffs off that we have a problem out yeah, there well, she about was, rising yeah. prices. She laughed in one reporter's face when they asked about rising gas prices. Absolutely. What she would what she would do about it, Congressman? We appreciate you taking the time tonight, sir. Good to see you. Well, thanks very much. Have a great night. Thank you. News Nation's Brian Enton just spoke to a secure. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.